Ever want to delve into your past, take your family tree back generations to find out more about the ancestors who made you who you are? Well, actually, Stuart Moore got that opportunity this week. He sat down with the genealogist behind the NBC series, Who Do You Think You Are? What he found took him back further than anyone in his family had ever dreamed. Stuart, nice to meet you. Joseph. Joseph, today we're going to look into my past, my history. I'm a little worried. I was a little apprehensive at first, thinking that there's only so far that we can go back. But you guys are going to be able to trace me back further than I believe, right? We actually found some stuff. I think you'll be excited to learn about your family history. And I think you're going to walk away with a better understanding of who your family is and where, where they came from. Welcome to the Wells Built Museum of African American History in downtown Orlando. A place where the lives of African Americans before me are on display and the place I find out more about my past. This is a, a record that pertains to your great grandfather. Okay. So Johnny Starmore. And what this record is is actually the World War I draft registration card. Wow. And we also see that he signed his name. So that's his real signature. That's his actual signature. Wow. And he wrote in cursive. So he was somewhat educated. He yeah. could read and write. There were a lot of people at that time who couldn't. My great grandfather, Johnny Starmore, was the son of a slave. He was born around 1879 in the town of Edgemoor. He had signed this draft card when he was 40 years old. Married to Esther Stinson, who died shortly before this document was signed, her death a mystery to the family. So it appears from her, from Esther's death certificate that she died of medical causes. It doesn't look like um, there was any foul play. Here he is here. He's listed as John, yep. and he's a year old. And wow. we see him in the household of his parents. So here is his father, who's listed as Edmund Moore. There you go. So that name yeah. was really somewhere yeah. in your family history. My great-great-grandfather, Edmund Moore, is a bit of a legend in our family history. Because growing up, we always believed Edgemoor, the place we consider home base, was named after him. What we found is that there, it's most likely that he worked in a cotton mill. Mm -hmm. And in Chester County, there were two uh, rather large cotton mills at that time. He actually had the rare opportunity as an African American at that time to actually advance and to use the equipment. So yeah. he must have been a hard worker. Joseph also found that Edmund Moore was born around 1825. He spent most of his life as a slave. One other new bit of information, Edmund was not born in South Carolina like the family suspected. He was born in Virginia. Joseph thinks Edmund was born to a slave mother and white father in Virginia before being sold or traded to Dr. Thomas Wade Moore, a slave owner in South Carolina. On Dr. Moore's slave schedule, Joseph thinks he has pinpointed Edmund. We actually see that there is a male slave who's 35 years old, which would have been Edmund's age at the time. As an African American, much of the history we have is lost because it was never recorded. Despite that, I learned that my great-great-grandfather was a skilled worker and that he saw that his youngest son, my great-grandfather, was able to read and write. He passed on his work ethic to my grandfather, to my father, and now on to me. Though the life my ancestors had was not, the sacrifices they made set my generation up to succeed today. If you want to find out more about your ancestors, you can log on to WESH.com. Joseph Shumway, who helps Stewart, shows you how to get started. It's right on the homepage. And you can watch Who Do You Think You Are tomorrow night on NBC at 8 o'clock. A celebrity chef, Paula Dean, finds out more about her family tree. No weather watch.